Hey, what's up, Backyard Ninja Kid fam? We are here to show you how to do the pull-up progression. So if you've ever wanted to do a pull-up and you haven't been able to, or you want to do more, this video is for you. So let's jump right in. Backyard Ninja If you're new here, we are the Backyard Ninja Kids. We're here to encourage, educate, and engage kids of all ages, whether you're zero or 100 plus. If that's you, Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification next to it so you know when we drop the next video. So the first exercise here we're gonna do is called the dead hang, okay? The reason why it's called the dead hang is because you just hang. You, you drop your shoulders, you're not pulling anything, you're just hanging, okay? What we're doing, we're working on the grip, the grip strength, your forearm strength, okay? So what we're gonna do we could do like three sets of, you know, as long as you can. Maybe it's 10 seconds, maybe it's 30 seconds, maybe it's several minutes. Some of the top ninjas are usually about, you know, 10 plus minutes. Um, some of the top ones that can have some serious grip strength, that's a long time. You don't need to be discouraged if you're lower than that. I'd say two minutes is really good. So if you can hold on for, you know, 30 seconds or so, uh, I think that's good enough to kind of keep going on this video but what you're gonna do is just do three sets as long as you can so you just hang on that bar as long as you can I'm gonna turn to the side here so as you can tell I'm just hanging my my shoulders are all the way down my my ears are next to my shoulders nothing fancy nothing special shake it out get a couple minute rest in between make sure your grips fully restored and get back after it step two Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna work on our, our shoulders, bringing our shoulders down, our scapulas down, um, to like, that's the first step of the pull-up, okay? So what we're doing is just pulling up like this. As you can see, my shoulders are kind of getting pulled back, dropping to my ears, and my shoulders getting pulled back. I'll turn to the side here. You're not seeing my arms move at all. It's just my shoulders pulling my scapulas down. Okay, working those first that first step, that first back muscle that's actually starting that pull up. Okay, we're not going to get into the details about what muscles, whatever. This is just about giving you the information you need to know. Okay, so same type of deal. You could do three or four or five sets of this. Maybe do as many as you can. Maybe get up to 10, 10 reps, three different sets. It'd be a good start working on that grip strength as you're also working on the, the scapula getting pulled down. That's going to really get that pull up started. Step number three, what we're doing here are negatives. Okay, so this is basically a reverse pull up. So maybe you need a little help at first. I got this box here so I can step up on the box and hold yourself up and then just let yourself hang and go down as slow as you can. You can kind of see I'm just slowly going down here. Okay, kind of spin all the way around so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But if you can do about 30 seconds going down, maybe up to a minute, that's gonna really help you work on that negative muscle group. Um, that's gonna help you build that strength. So when you pull up, um, you're kind of used to that. Um, if, if you, you're gonna fall down in like five seconds, you know, a couple seconds, that's okay. No big deal, just use that box. That same box that you step up on to get up to here, take some of that weight off with the box. So, I'm, I got both feet on my box, and now I don't have as much weight on my hands, so now I can go down slowly, okay? Use that box to your advantage, both to get up there and Maybe you need to couple some weight off, right? So maybe you have two feet to start with, then you go down to one foot on the box, then you have no feet on the box. And maybe you can jump up there, you know, and then that'll help you with the negative as well. Okay, now we're just getting starting to get into the pull-up, okay? So this is assisted pull-up now. Now that you've worked on, you know, the grip strength, the forearm strength, the shoulder scapula movement, the the negatives, now we're just gonna use the box to our advantage again, but this time going up. So I have both feet up on the box, and I can pull myself up. Maybe you say, Scott, I don't have a box. That's okay. If you have a chair, 
If you have, you can even have a, a friend, if you just put your legs back like this, you know, they will be able to grab your legs and help assist there. Just make sure you have a mat down like I do. That way you're not gonna fall. If you, you know, if you lose your grip, you fall on a mat, you don't fall on your face on the concrete, okay? So same type of deal. Maybe you do three, four, five sets of, you know, eight to 15 reps of pull-ups, okay? And then, da 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 once you have all those negatives done, you have all those pull assisted pull-ups done, now what we can do is start working on our pull-ups. Maybe at first you're getting one at a time, that's okay. In fact, that's awesome. How awesome is that? Because you couldn't do maybe any before. So now you do your pull-ups. Let's say you can crank out three pull-ups. Okay, now rest it out, shake it out, rub down your forearms, maybe take two, three minutes to fully recover there, shake it out. Another good thing to be doing right now is you could go do some push-ups. Okay, push-ups are kind of the opposite muscle group. So you can work on that too, which will also help keep your whole body, you know, so you're not only working on your back, you're working on your chest, and then that way your muscles are in symmetry there, okay? So, get back into it, maybe crank out three more pull-ups, okay? And maybe you're getting stuck right here, oh, I can't do that third one. Start over, go back to that, the, just the dead hang grip. Go back to the negatives, that really helps. Maybe you do the negative and you pause right there instead, and then do that part really slow, okay? Because that again is working on that isometric hold, the slow movement hold, working on those muscle groups you need. So, anyway, I hope that helps you. If, uh, if this helped you do your first pull-up or more pull-ups, please let me know in the comments down below. We're super excited to hear from you. I don't care if it took you one day, one hour, one week, one year, one decade. Tell us how many pull-ups that you were able to do and if this information helped you. If you have any other tips, Please leave them down below. There's all kinds of great tips out there. So let's share them with the community. Okay? We'll catch you in the next one. See ya!